Hello and welcome. My name is Angie Holden and I'm the blogger behind The Country Chic Cottage. So today we're going to talk about special characters in Cricut Design Space. You may also hear these referred to as glyphs, alternate characters, swishes, swooshes. It's those pretty things that you see at like the beginning and the end of words, sometimes joining words in the middle that are not part of the font if you just type it out in Cricut Design Space but you can access all those flourishes, swooshes, font extras right on your computer, whether that be a PC or Mac, and add them right into Cricut Design Space. Now, as far as I know, you do need a PC or a Mac computer to access all those special characters. I don't know of an app as of the filming of this video that would work on your mobile device. If someone knows of an app, drop down the comment section and leave it for me and I'll review it on, on a later video to let all those people that work on mobile devices know how to access their special characters. But for now, I'm gonna jump into my PC first and I'm gonna show you how to use the character map to access those special characters. And we'll talk about a little bit about Mac at the end of this video. So let's talk about how to turn this top text into this bottom text using glyphs and the character map. So the font we're using is called Speak Love and I will link to that in the description below just in case you wanted to use this font. However, many fonts include extra characters that you can use instead of just the normal characters. So if I pick this font and just type out the two names, Tom and Sarah, the font looks like this. So this is the, the way the font looks normally. So now let's talk about how to add the characters. And again, I'm on a Windows computer. So we'll go to, down to the bottom and we will type character and we will open up the character map. Then you'll wanna pull down this drop down and find the font. Again, we're using Speak Love. Now, the, you will have to scroll quite a bit on the character map to find the correct characters. But if you scroll, and again, you'll have to scroll past all of this like random stuff and other languages, you will find the characters that you're looking for. So these are extra characters for the font itself. So now I just have to find what I need. So I need an M for the center to connect the two words together. So I am looking for an M with that center heart. And so here we have, these are for the beginning. So actually while we're here, we could find the T for the beginning for Tom. And then we can double click it and it comes down here to this bottom portion. So I like to highlight the entire thing and then click copy. Then we'll go back to Cricut Design Space, double click like we are going to alter the text. We're gonna erase the T that is already there. So now we're at the beginning and we need to paste what we copied from the character map. So I like to use my keyboard shortcuts and hold down control and press V. And so on this, it will look like a square because it's not part of my font. But as you can see, it copy and pasted it correctly. And now I have that T for my character map in my font itself. So now we wanna look for the remainder of the characters. So next up we have the H, which goes at the end. Again, I will highlight the entire thing, copy, go over here, delete the H from the end, use control V to paste my new H. Then all that's left is to find that center M. And we can find the center letters down here and there's my M, so I'll double click that, highlight it, copy, go in here, and in the place of that M, put my heart. Now you can see that there's a space between the M with the heart and the S. What we wanna do is delete the space that I actually typed between the two names. And now the names are perfect and joined together by that heart. Now you will need to weld these in order for them to cut as one piece. So I just like to click weld. But once you click weld, the text is not editable. So be sure that your text is just the way you want it before you click that weld. And then we can click make it. And as you can see, we have our names just like we wanted them and ready to cut with our extra characters in place. So all you PC users, grab your character map, start finding those special characters on the fonts that you download and drop them right into Cricut Design Space and create something amazing. Now, Mac users, I did promise you an alternative. While I don't have a Mac, you can use FontBook on a Mac 
similarly to the way I just used Character Map. Again, it comes with your MacBook. You would just search for font book, use it similarly, find your swoosh, your flourish, whatever, copy it, paste it similarly into Design Space, just like I did with my Windows computer and the Character Map. You're just using a different application for that. So it should work in a similar manner, and hopefully that helps you find all those special characters on your font. So I hope this helps you. I hope this helps you open up your font options with special characters, flourishes, swooshes, whatever you want to call them, glyphs, whatever you want to call them. I hope it opens up your character options right in Cricut Design Space so you can start making amazing things. If this video helped you, give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions about anything we covered, drop down in the comment section, ask away. If you haven't already, head on over to our YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. We have videos like this every week, and trust me, you don't want to miss any of those. Thank you all so much for joining me, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.